In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to install Nfinite Stealth Server for RGH modded Xbox 360. The process is very similar to the XBGuard Stealth Server installation I demonstrated earlier. However, this time I'll explain the key differences between the launch.ini files and why I recommend keeping your own instead of using the one provided. So let's get started. First, open Google and search for Nfinite Stealth Server. It should be the very first result. Let's go ahead and download the files from there. Similar to XBGuard, the archive contains two identical folders. Inside each folder, you will find four files, xbdm.xex, nfinite.xex, launch.ini, and jrpc2.xex. Go ahead and extract these files to your desktop. Let's open the launch.ini file provided by the nfinite website. If you scroll down to the plugins section, you'll see that all three plugin paths are already set up. Next, I'll connect my hard drive to the PC using a SATA cable and the Fat Explorer program. Now let's compare both launch.ini files. As you can see, in our existing file, Aurora is already configured as the default dashboard. However, in the new launch.ini file from Nfinite, the default path is empty. This means the console would boot into the retail dashboard by default. On this stage, you can rewrite the existing launch file on your console. Simply scroll down to the plugin section and copy the three plugin paths from the Nfinite file into your existing launch.ini file. Then save it. This way, you won't need to configure anything in Dash Launch. Just don't forget to copy the Stealth server files to your hard drive. But for this guide, I'll be using Dash Launch regardless. So let's go ahead and copy the necessary files to the hard drive. You can use any method you prefer, USB, FTP, or Xbox 360 neighborhood. Personally, I prefer connecting the hard drive directly to the PC. Now let's copy the three required files and boot the console. All right, we have a completely empty Aurora dashboard. Let's go ahead and open the Dash Launch app. If you're purchasing the console from us, you'll find Dash Launch located in the HDD1 Apps Dash Launch folder. Now let's open the plugin settings and set up the plugins the same way I showed earlier in the launch.ini file. The second plugin should always be the Stealth server, which is nfinite.xex. The first plugin should be xbdm.xex and the third is jrpc2.xex. Be careful, if you make a mistake, the console may freeze on boot. If you'd like to purchase a console from our website and need a stealth server setup, please leave a note with your order or send us an email. We'll install the stealth server for you free of charge. Once the plugins are set correctly, press the right bumper, highlight HDD, and press X on your controller to save the settings. Now let's reboot the console. Excellent. We're off to a great start. There are no freezing issues, and Aurora loads automatically as expected. That means everything is working smoothly so far. Now, let's navigate to the Flash folder and select dash.xex. This will launch the Nfinite Stealth Server dashboard. And there we have it. Everything is fully set up and ready for online play. I'm planning to make another video soon that goes more in depth on the Cypher Stealth Server installation. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, whether it's setup guides, feature overviews, or troubleshooting tips. If you're thinking about getting a modded console, be sure to visit our website. Every console purchased from us can come with a Stealth Server pre-installed at no extra cost. We also offer free shipping across Canada and the U.S. For international orders, shipping fees apply. Just send us an email and we'll provide you with a quote. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content.